Welcome back once again to your infotainment YouTube channel CMW 24 into 7. Now we are going to mainly concentrate upon a story called Amigo Brothers. Amigo Brothers written by Pauli Thomas. In Spanish language, Amigo means friend. In Spanish language, amigo means friend. So friend brothers. That is why the story written by Pirate Thomas titled Amigo Brothers. Actually, the story was published in 1978. The story was published in 1978. As part of stories from El Barrio. El Barrio, that is a very important thing. E L L Barrio, B A R R I O, El Barrio. It is really a short story collection. Really a short story collection for young adults. And exposing the theme of positivity. Remember, Amigo Brothers is a story published in 1978 as part of stories from El Barrio. El Barrio is really a short story collection for young adults. And uh, what, uh, what are the uh, activities or what are the elements the story highlights is theme of positivity. The story Amigo Brothers is really highlighting the theme of positivity. Then second one purity of sports. And third one is Afro-Latin culture. So mainly the story highlights the first one is the theme of positivity. Purity of sports and Afro-Latin culture. And the writer Pierre Thomas is well known for his memoir. Memoir means his own memorial writings. Down these mean streets, that is a very important thing. So memoir is a particular genre of writing titled Down These Mean Streets. Mean streets means a street which is completely covered up with the various sorts of people. But the street is mean, vulgar, not at all good for better behavior. So, down these mean streets, that is the title of uh, Pierre Thomas' memoir, and he is well known for that memoir called uh, Down These Mean Streets. Please try to understand. It, Amigo Brothers is a story published in 1978 as part of stories from El Barrio, that is a collection of uh, Short stories for young adults. For young adults, exposing the theme of positivity, purity of sports, Afro Latin culture, and the author or the story writer is famous for his memoir called Down These Mean Streets. So, now let us see what is Afro-Latin culture connected with the story Amigo Brothers. So in this case, we must try to understand art is not for art's sake, but art is or literature is for the sake of the society we live in. Amigo Brothers by Pierre Thomas is a very good example for citing literature is for protecting and saving 
the society or just correcting the society of the evils prevalent in the society. That is the function of the literature that Pyre Thomas is highlighting in the story. Now let us go for just to understand the author. Author, that is Pyre Thomas, was born the son of a Caribbean or Puerto Rican mother. So when you read the story, you will come across the word Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican or the Caribbean. Actually, he was born as a son of a Caribbean or Puerto Rican mother and a black Cuban father. So here we can understand the family background of Pyre Thomas, which is giving a highlight into the story, Amigo Brothers. The author was born as a son of a Caribbean or Puerto Rican mother and a black Cuban father. As a result of what happened, he was a black skinned. His, the color of his skin or body appearance was black. Black in color, that color of his body provoked a trouble for Pyre Thomas. He spent his childhood in the Spanish Harlem section of New York City. Think about the childhood the days of Pyre Thomas was spent in the Spanish Harlem section. In the Spanish Harlem section of New York City, which was riddled with, uh, completely mixed up with uh, crime and violence. So listen, his childhood in the Spanish Harlem section of New York City was completely mixed up with uh, crime and violence, which created much problem for uh, Pyre Thomas. So according to Mr. Thomas, children at the young age were exposed to be gang members and Thomas was not an exception. He was also exposed to be a gang member. He also involved in the activities of a gang member. That is why he is telling children were expected to be gang members at a young age and uh, the writer Pyre Thomas was no exception. That is why his stories I told you, El Barrio, short story collection for young adults who were exposed to gang members activity to correct them. That is, he uses his writing for a saving the lives of youth or the lives of young children. Children were expected to be young members at a young age and Thomas was no exception. And he was also, the writer was also exposed to Social discrimination, that is a very important thing. So, racial discrimination, black people and white people. So, he was uh, exposed to social discrimination because of his uh, Afro-Latino heritage. Because of Pioneer Thomas, uh, Afro-Latino heritage because he was born or the author was born as the son of a Caribbean or Puerto Rican mother and a black Cuban father. That is what it shows that he had a, an Afro-Latino heritage. So the story Amigo Brothers exposing the theme of positivity Purity of sports, Afro-Latin culture. That is why, while I was introducing the order, I started with the Afro-Latino 
Latin culture or Afro Latino heritage, that is what. So, understanding about the Afro Latin culture of Pali farmers will make you understand the story better. Now, I have just stopped here that uh, Pali farmers was not exception for gang member activities. He was also involved uh, with the drugs. The author was also involved with the drugs, anti-social element, and to gang fair activities, not only drugs, gang fair activities and crime. And the crime. So the writer of the story also during his uh, childhood to days while living in the Harlem, Spanish Harlem section of New York City was involved with the drafts, gun fair activities and crime. So during a robbery, Pirate Thomas shot a policeman and was sentenced to seven years of imprisonment. He shot a policeman during a robbery and shot a policeman and was sentenced to prison or sentenced to life for seven years. Finally, while spending his uh, prison life, he thought the words of his parents and realized that a child was not born a criminal. A child was not born a criminal. A child was not born a criminal. So he decided to reach at risk the youth. He decided to reach at risk youth means to save the lives of the young people and to help them avoid a life of crime. That was the mission of the short story writer Parry Thomas. So when he was involved in a robbery, he accidentally shot a police officer was sentenced to prison. During the prison life, he reflected on the sins of his parents and realized that, understood that, a child was not born a criminal. Finally, he decided to reach at risk youth and to help them avoid a life of crime. And Pari Thomas, after coming out of the prison, traveled around the U.S., United States, Central America, and Europe, that is all. He traveled around the U.S., Central America, and Europe, giving lectures, conducting workshops in colleges and universities. So he made his mission to risk at you to work hard for the salvation of the young children and made them or help them avoid a life of crime. That's why he traveled around the US, Central America and Europe giving lectures, conducting workshops in colleges and universities. Amigo Brothers tells the story of Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas. Amigo Brothers tells the story of Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas 
both 17 years old and teenage best friends who live and breathe the sport of boxing. That is a very important thing. Two teenage best friends called Antonio Cruz and Felix Vergas, both the 17 years, who live and breathe the sport of boxing. They train together whenever they can and share an encyclopedic knowledge. These two teenage friends share an encyclopedic knowledge of the sport and its stars, sports stars. Between them, they had a collection of uh, five magazines. These two teenage best friends have a collection of five to magazines because they have a passion for the sport boxing. Plus, in addition to five magazines, a scrapbook from that we can see filled with the torn tickets. This scrapbook is completely filled with the torn tickets to every boxing match they had ever attended. Whenever there is a boxing match, they will find time and take tickets and watch the boxing match or witness the boxing match and such torn tickets. After having watched the boxing match, they will come with the torn tickets and those tickets were collected or filled or heaped up in a scrapbook and some clippings of their own and some photographs of these two teenage best friends. Their passion for boxing, that is a very important, they are having a passion for the sport boxing is a positive element. That is what I told you, the story exposes the theme of positivity. When I start or when I commence the class, I just reminded you of the story exposes the theme of positivity. So their passion for boxing, both Antonio Cruz and Felix Morgas, passion for boxing is a positive element of their lives that has kept these uh, teenage friends away from gangs, drugs, anti-social elements. So the literature, the piece of writing or the story is highlighting that the author uses the positivity of the sports, the positivity, the purity of sports, keeping the young adults from anti-social elements like gangs and tracks prevalent in their New York City neighborhood. While we were analyzing the childhood days of uh, Pirate Thomas, they were living in the Spanish Harlem section of New York City, which was uh, completely merged in uh, anti-social elements like uh, crime, violence, uh, uh, drugs, uh, all these things. So, this element means passion for boxing of these two best teenage friends is a positive element of these two friends that has kept these two Puerto Rican fighters away from gangs and trucks prevalent present in their New York City neighborhood. The story goes like that. There comes a turning point 
in the story. So one day they learn, both Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas learn that they are set to fight each other. Antonio to fight against Felix and Felix is to fight against Antonio. To fight each other in an elimination match or bout. In an elimination bout match. That will determine. That means at the end of the fight or match. The winner has to compete in the golden gloves match. The winner has to compete. So that bout will determine which of them is it Antonio Cruz or Felix Vargas going on to compete in the golden gloves. What is golden gloves? The first step towards a real professional boxing or fighting career. They are going to be professional fighters. So that is what Golden Gloves is the first step towards a real professional fighting career. Initially, when they knew about this news, the two friends pretend that they are telling, okay, no problem. Upcoming fight changes nothing. Nothing will happen if there is a fight between them. But however, they soon agree that. They came to a conclusion. Come on, let us separate. That is a good idea. Why, why, why should they separate? Because they are living in the same residence. So, until the fight, they decided to separate, Se they, to live separately. Why they wanted to live separately until the fight? In order to train independently. They wanted to train for the match independently, not together. Try to understand that. There is a wall framed between two teenage best friends on the issue of uh, fighting against each other in the elimination bout that will determine who is going to compete in the golden gloves that is the first step towards the real professional fighting career. In mending war we came across a human made structure called a wall which separates one human being from another human being. But in Amico Brothers, there has been a wall or a block that was set in the mental realm of both the teenage best friends. A wall was erected between Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas just because for a fight against each other, a wall which was built in the minds of these two friends. So they first realized that nothing is going to happen before the upcoming fight. But soon they realized that they should separate themselves under the fight because they wanted to train independently. Because the fight is between the two teenage best friends. So they wanted to live separately to train independently for the about to match and another thing is the apart from or in addition to the physical training they wanted to want to get into a the right psychological state because psychologically they should be in a 
position to fight against each other. That is what they decided to live separately until the match. So first one is to pray independently for the match. And secondly, they wanted to work, they should work to get into the right to psychological state to fight to their best friend. So one is a physical training, another is a mental condition. Right to psychological condition to fight uh, their best friend. That is why the two teenage best friends decided to live separately before the match. When the two friends Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas decided to live separately. Felix decided to stay with Aunt Lucy in Browns. Felix told her, Hello Tony. Antonio is uh, fondly called it Tony. So he told her, Antonio or Tony, I am going to, or Felix Vargas is going to live her with his aunt, stay with his aunt Lucy in Bronx, while Tony or Antonio lives in the same residence. He told her that it doesn't matter. I will live in the same residence. The previous night of the fight, on the eve of the night, Felix went out to watch a movie starring Kirk Douglas. The name of the movie is The Champion. The Champion. So Felix wanted to avoid the thoughts and the appearance or the face of his friend Antonio. He decided to go for a movie called The Champion starring Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. He went for watching a movie the previous night of the fight. So he wanted to avoid the thoughts of his friend, the appearance of his friend Antonio Cruz. Felix went out the previous night to watch a movie called The Champion starring Kirk Douglas. After having watched the movie, Felix wandered, walked up some dark streets. After coming out of the theater, he walked up some dark streets. It was a night, dark streets. It was the street, uh, the streets were deserted. No people were there, but some small pockets, small groups of very looking kids are there. They are wearing their gown colored uniforms of dresses. So when he walked up some dark streets that were completely deserted, no people were there, except for small pockets of a very looking kids wearing gang colors. Here, Felix was menaced by some gang members. He was Tort, going to be tortured, menaced by some gang members, but those gang members let Felix pass. Please go, go. When he showed some shadow fighting of his boxing sport, demonstrating his skill, so the gang members understood that he is a very skilled. Uh, boxer or a fighter. So the gang members let Felix pass, go without being molested 
that is what. So unmolested, they let him pass unmolested when he performed some shadow boxing, demonstrating his uh, boxing skill. So this scene is very important and uh, suggesting that positive activities, purity of sports, positive activities of this have the power to protect and serve an individual in the New York neighborhood, the mean New York neighborhood. Sir. That's what from the very beginning when I started, I told it, the story exposes the positivity of uh, or purity of a sport. So when he does some shadow boxing, Felix uh, performs some shadow boxing and demonstrating his skill, which shows the positive activities that have the power to protect and uh, serve you. So this is the only one incident uh, where Pyre Thomas uh, just gave an example of uh, crime and violence in the story, Amigo Brothers. He controlled the presence of crime and violence in the story, except for this scene. That is what we come to know. Felix separated from Antonio and staying with his aunt losing bronze in order to avoid the thoughts and appearance of his best teenage friend Antonio Cruz. And when he, the previous night when he went for watching a movie called The Champion starring Kirk Douglas, he was attempted to be molested by a pocket of uh, very looking kids wearing kids wearing gang colors but he was escaped from such a scene when he performed some shadow boxing demonstrating his skill the gang members let him pass unmolested that is the positive activity which has the power to protect and serve an individual. Here, time for winding up this session. We will come out with the climax of the story, Amigo Brothers, and what are the themes, styles, uh, structure, literary uh, devices used uh, in the story. Thank you. Thank you very much.